Hello, in this demonstration, I'm going to take you through the process of adding a case structure and a flat sequence structure. And I'm going to do it with an example of three on-screen LEDs. I will start by adding a case structure. And you can find that in the structures panel. And I want to make this big enough so I can put all the items I want to put in here. To control which case is executed, I need to bring down a Boolean control. I have attached it to the case statement, and you'll notice that there's two cases. When the select is true, it'll execute this case. When it's false, it'll execute this case. I'm going to start by filling in the true case. Within the true case, I'm going to add a flat sequence structure. It's found in the same area, the programming structures palette and it's a flat sequence structure. And I'm gonna start off by opening up one frame. And you'll notice the frame looks like a film cartridge for a 35 millimeter camera. And if I wanna add a second frame, right click on the frame, add frame after, add a third frame, and then I wanna resize the frames. You'll notice that uh, there are blue points which you can grab onto for resizing. And same thing here, make sure you're on the frame that you want to resize. And now I have about um, the right amount of space I need for each frame. So I'm gonna add some content to those frames. What I wanna be able to do is change the way this code executes, because normally in LabVIEW, it kind of executes in parallel, it's called data field flow. And we wanna change it to control flow, so that this code executes first, followed by this, followed by this and the code will execute sequentially, and it'll wait till each frame is complete, then it moves to the next, and it moves from left to right. Once it's complete, since it's in a loop, um, a while loop, it'll just return back to the left from the right-hand side. Now, I also want to put something in the false case, but I need to use the information from here. From these uh, indicators, I want to create a local variable. So to do that, right click on the indicator, create local variable, and I'm just gonna place it up here. And on each local variable, I'm gonna add a false constant. And I'm gonna do that for all three. So I've moved to my false case just by clicking on this down arrow, and I, sorry, arrow, and I'm gonna move these into that panel on case statement. And this is what I want to execute when the select function is false. And so what it should do in my program is turn off the green, red, and yellow LEDs on the panel. So I'm going to run the program. So my program is running. You see the iteration counter moving upwards. And I have the select input at a false. So it's executing this code. Now if I change it to the true to see what's there, and then I execute this, uh, code by moving the switch to the true position. Now what happens is it turned on the yellow, sorry, the green LED, then the red LED, then the yellow LED. And now it's just running back in a loop. So after it finishes this frame, it moves back to the left hand frame. And if I move the switch down, after a little bit of time, because it has to finish this frame before it can come back and go to the false condition. So it switches in between the two. But it'll have to complete this one first. All right, that uh, should give you enough basic information to start using case and flat sequence structures. Thank you.